Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here and today I've got another interesting knife review slash knife overview to share with you guys. This is the Civivi Altus. Haven't you reviewed that knife before like a long time ago? Yes, I, I did actually. Um, this is their new one in aluminum. Now you might be thinking, so it's the same thing with aluminum? Like, why are you even reviewing it again? Um, actually, that's a good question. There's a, there's, there's one thing I want you guys to know about this knife, and because I've already reviewed it, and I really liked it. If you don't know, I really liked the Altus. In fact, I'm going to tell you guys right now, if you want this knife, um, I, not this one, uh, but uh, check out the G10 version. Um, that's a, that's a great one. In fact, I'll link this knife down in the, the description so that you guys can check it out. It's, it's a right around the same price and it's a very, very good, very recommendable knife. In fact, I think it was one of the first budget button locks that I had ever handled and I just immediately loved it. But there's something going on here. I'm going to share that with you guys here in a sec. Thanks so much to Civivi for sending this knife in and providing it for review. Thanks to my patrons for supporting me. And please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. We're going to do very quick specs, very quick everything, because I want to get into the meat and potatoes pretty quickly here. Overall length is the same as the first one, about seven inches. Blade length is about three inches, maybe up to three and an eighth, depending on where you're measuring. Um, and then the cutting edge is maybe just a hair shy of three inches. How about some size comparisons up against the Ontario Rat Model 1 and the Ontario Rat Model 2? This is very much a uh, Rat 2 size knife. How about up against the Demco 80 20.5? Great. How about up against the Benchmade Bugout? Fantastic. And then finally, the Spyderco Para 3. All righty. Hardware check. Uh, everything's T8, right? I can get out my handy dandy tools that are really inexpensive and recommendable and all that. Did he even have to say that? I feel like he's plugging that stuff. Um, no, I, they don't have to do it. It's all T8 except for the pocket clip screws. This should be very, very easy to take apart. Um, so as long as you have the right tools, you're good to go. Let's weigh it real quick. Weight with the aluminum scales coming in at 3.35 ounces, which is slightly heavier than some people might have guessed. This guy surprisingly is a little bit butt heavy, but not crazy. And ultimately it's a 3.35 ounce knife. There's not really too much to complain about here. I wish I had the original Altus to compare. My guess is that this is slightly thicker, but at the very least it's exactly the same, right? I mean, it's, it's, it's a good overall, you know, shape and size. I don't really have a problem with it. Um, let's measure blade stock thickness. I'm sure after this, you're going to be like, you should go through specs this quickly every single time. Maybe I should tell me what you think in the comments. Piece of crap. <laughs> Zero out. What's wrong with this thing? It's become so defiant all of a sudden. It's like, I'm tired of being treated this way. That's why, that's why I'm always lost. I'm always trying to escape. 115 thousandths. That's, that's the voice for my calipers. Ah, ga, 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 ga. Uh, <laughs> 115 thousandths on the um, spine there. Materials, aluminum, a steel liner, which is interesting. They probably could have just done, I mean, honestly, they just were like, let's just make aluminum scales and slap it on, right? Um, which is interesting because if that's the case, I wonder if all of these are like this, even my original one, which I don't remember being that way. Anyways, what's the deal with this? Why are you being weird and shadowy and dramatic? So uh, maybe just depending on when you're watching this and if you watch all of my content, you guys might remember me reviewing the new Quibit, as I'm pronouncing it, Q-U-B-I-T. Um, that knife, when you push the button all the way down, um, which in most good button lock designs, the blade just falls. It doesn't matter how much pressure you apply, meaning you don't have to apply some weird cryptic amount of pressure between not pushing it and pushing it all the way down. You don't have to guess how much pressure to get it to fall. You just push it, right? That's how it should be. The vast majority of good button lock knives, whether they're inexpensive or expensive, they, they operate like that. Uh, I think I handled one from Kaiser um, or Concept. I can't remember who it was where it just didn't work. It was just weird, right? Come to think of it, it may have been something in aluminum, um, but I, I honestly cannot remember. Uh, the Quibit, you know, it did that. When I'd push the button down, it would stop. And guess what? This one does it too. And in that video, I said, I want to wait and hear what other people have to say. Maybe I've got a quirky one, right? You guys might be thinking that's not really that big of a deal. I mean, after a while, you're going to be able to remember, like, just don't push the button all the way down. And you can see here, I can actually do it. 
But I don't like having to think about that, especially after having experienced so many. It's not like it's not like there's like seven button locks out there and it's like, ah, well, you know, <laughs> I'll just deal with this. But no, the formula for this has long since been figured out, right? If I push this all the way down, it will not. I mean, look at this. It won't until I let it go. Something is dragging. And I have to imagine, just like that Kaiser or concept, it's the other cylinder head in here, right? You can see here, I'm pushing that cylinder out of the way. And then on this side, right there, there's another cylinder that comes out. And I'm guessing that it is catching on the blade face and it's um, dragging. Um, I don't know if the aluminum frame has something to do with this. I don't know how that would work. I just feel like in the back of my mind, the, the one before the, the quibit that was having an issue was also aluminum. But maybe I'm just misremembering that. I don't know what's going on with these three, but this is that these two came in the same batch. You sent me this and the Quibit. Otherwise, the fit and finish is great. The centering is great. The lockup is great, right? I think I did a, oh, every time I do this without gloves, people get upset. We'll get out. I mean, the joke's over at this point. But I bought uh, steel gauntlets to um, do these spine whack tests now because everyone was like, please, you have to consider your safety. You have to consider your safety. It's so dangerous. I did a, I did a spine whack test without gloves one time and everybody just lost their minds. <laughs> do you guys, hey, do you guys remember when I chopped an iPad in half with my sword? Nobody said anything then. One guy was like, oh, well, batteries could explode, but oh, that was funny. And I do a spine whack test with no gloves, and everyone's like, oh, 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 oh. Hey, calm down, all right? Here, unless you take safety this seriously, you're all doing it wrong. So let's go ahead and perform the spine whack tests, the test. Yeah, just like the Quibit, honestly, um, the I th the lockout is good. Um, so the issue here, it might seem like a trivial one, but it's honestly like, <laughs> even at this price, which is a $72 knife, right? Those gloves are real oily. <laughs> Let me get out. Hold on. Let me get out of, uh, one of my 172 microfiber cloths <laughs> that I'm hoarding. <laughs> Those gloves are real oily. Um, probably because they're non stainless steel. Uh, but, uh, anyways, 72 bucks. Eh, that's an okay price. It's tech. It's, it's, it's a budget knife. According to my, my own rules on this channel, right? Anything under 12 bucks. Um, uh, 12. Why did I say 12 under 12? <laughs> what, what even was I thinking about? 72, anything under $75. This is 72 and some change. 12. I don't know what the heck I was thinking. Um, so yeah, Nitro V steel, nice glass blasted uh, blade. The aluminum looks nice and there's a bunch of different flavors. Honestly, this would be a pretty recommendable knife. I don't know why it's $7 more than the Quibit. I don't feel like there's $7 more here unless they're saying, oh, that's the steel. Oh, well, it's the liners. Um, okay. I mean, outside of that, this it's the same as the, and it's ambidextrous. I mean, we have the pocket clip, you know, uh, mountable on either side, right? It's a pretty good knife. It's 72 bucks. But this bothers me. Um, having to, you know, stop and think about how much pressure I'm putting on the thing. Now, it is true that if you pick this up, you will adapt to it in about 30 seconds, right? But a small part of your subconscious, right, your, your, your random access memory, if you will, will be dedicated to controlling that every single time you deploy it, which is annoying. Um, so, Vivi, figure out what's going on with these. If you guys are about to release a gigantic batch of aluminum button locks, which I would, man I would venture to guess you have already manufactured, uh, figure out what the problem is and make it stop because <laughs> I'm not going to be the only one. People are going to be like, people are only complaining because Metal Complex complain." No, no. I think people like to assume that everyone is a sheep because it makes them feel really smart. But the truth is, is that most people are fairly intelligent, right? Despite what, I mean, whatever, there's always reports of like, the average person is actually really stupid. I mean, it just depends on your perspective, I guess. I don't choose to believe that. I choose to believe that most people 
um, are pretty good at thinking for themselves. I mean, obviously, you can only react to your surrounding environment based on the interactions that you've had thus far and the experiences that you've had thus far. But um, I don't think it takes a super duper hyper brained, you know, wrinkle brained person um, to go, huh, that's kind of annoying, right? So, no, it's not going to be because I pointed it out. It's be, it's going to be because people who like to watch, watch my content are probably people who are already particular about these things in the first place. So don't go, you know, blowing that butt trumpet all over the internet. That's, you're, that you're, you're wrong, right? Everybody imagined what that would sound like. <laughs> um, this, this is annoying, and I have to assume that if Civivi is about to release a whole bunch of models that are both new and basically aluminum versions of past models in button lock form, um, if it is something to do with the aluminum scales or just some new process, right, maybe there's some minor adjustment that needs to be made to the machining process, right, whatever. Um, I, I don't know. I'd like to, uh, I'd like to know who has already purchased these knives and who is also experiencing the same thing. Um, but as of right now, I don't recommend this one. I recommend the original G10 one. Um, because to my knowledge, that one was not, and it may have been my Carter, that one was not getting stuck on a full D press. So, uh, just wanted to share my thoughts. Thank you, Savivi, for providing this knife for review. This knife was for free. If you guys didn't know that, I get sent stuff for free, but that won't, uh, that won't buy you a positive review here. <laughs> Even if it's a thousand dollar knife, that doesn't buy you a positive review here. Um, I still like to, you know, say what I think and say what's actually going on. And I know the reason that I enjoy, um, you know, working with Civivi and having them send me stuff is because they don't tell me how to do things. They say, we want to know what you actually think, which is good. That's how companies should be. So Civivi, I think we've got an issue maybe with some button locks. Um, that's, uh, that's about all I can say. Short video today. I'll still link Civivi button locks in general down in the description and Sencut actually. Sencut has a bunch of really good button locks, which is, you know, part of the same Civivi we team. Um, so check those out. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like. So check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.